Hello, everybody. Although my pose may in some small way resemble that wonder of the ancient world, the Colossus of Rhodes, actually, I'm Lowell Thomas, standing in front of what will soon be one of the wonders of the modern world. This is the theme symbol of the New York World's Fair, the Unisphere, built by United States Steel. And here will be the biggest, most fascinating show ever created by man. 650 acres and over 200 exhibitors, the finest in industry, the arts, culture, and entertainment from all over the world. Let's take a look at the fair and what there will be to see. At the Port of New York, New Jersey exhibit building, there'll be a restaurant, movies in the round, and a heliport, offering flights direct from New York City to the fair. Here making the first official landing is the governor of the state of New York, Nelson A. Rockefeller, New Jersey Governor Richard Hughes, and other distinguished guests. be other attractions in the transportation area. At General Motors, take an auto ride into the future, then into a Walt Disney fantasy land by Ford. Drive in Mobile's economy run. See exhibits in science. Moon travel. And Sinclair's dinosaurs. Then lunch in Greyhound's Restaurant of the Future, all in the transportation area of the New York World's Fair. I'm sitting here in the World's Fair Amphitheater, where you'll enjoy a spectacular stage and water show. This is the Lake Amusement Area, presenting the finest in entertainment. See Columbus's Santa Maria, a wax museum, and dine on Chinese specialties. Ride AMF's exciting monorail. There'll be shows galore. The circus, the Texas Music Hall, at nearby Jones Beach, around the world in 80 days. And when night falls, a lovely fountain show. The crack of a baseball bat. The cry, Homer, from 55,000 voices here in the William A. Shea Stadium next to the World's Fair. The fair's sports program is exciting. In the stadium, the Mets home games and the all-star baseball game. Many of the 1964 Olympic trials will be held at the fair here in the arena and in the pavilion. At the time of the 1939 World's Fair, I reported from this exact spot. In fact, did my broadcast here. In the days when nylon, plastics, and television were the sensation. But today, the industrial giants of the world are preparing a mighty new spectacle here. Here where steel is taking on the shape of things to come. In IBM's theater, you'll thrill to a very special abstract film. Johnson's Wax has a suspended theater. Here, electric power and lights, Tower of Light. You'll see RCA's TV broadcast in color. The Bell System, Story of Communications. 
and a new time capsule by Westinghouse. There will be two exhibits by Walt Disney at General Electric, his amazing animated figures, and here, Pepsi Cola's tribute to UNICEF. You'll see fascinating exhibits of photography by Eastman Kodak, of chemistry by DuPont, of automation by National Cash Register, and of gas by the gas industry. Exhibits for your home, too, at the Better Living Pavilion. For Micah's World's Fair House, the Pavilion of American Interiors, and the House of Good Taste. And if delicious food and drink is your dish, be merry at Rheingold's Little Old New York or at the world's largest beer bar by Schaefer. Dine on 7-Up's International Sandwiches or quench your thirst in Coca-Cola's World of Refreshment. Visit Traveler's Insurance Triumph of Man, the Boy Scouts, and Equitable Life's Wonderful Demograph. By this time, if you're happy but tired, take a unique pause in Scott Paper's Lovely Park or in Simmons Scientific Indoor Rest Area. The exciting new world of industry at the New York World's Fair. As some of you know, I have spent much of my life roaming this planet in search of the unusual, the interesting, the exotic. But you, right here in the international area, can visit more than 45 countries. In Hong Kong, oriental specialties. A restaurant from Switzerland and the Swiss Sky Ride. See Indonesia's Balinese dancers and the handicrafts of Mexico. Pakistan dramatizes her past and Austria her famous mountains. Sweden, her creativity. And in a traditional motif, the Republic of China. From Africa, the new nation of Sierra Leone. India's theme is progress in democracy. The Hall of Free Enterprise. Japanese exhibits by government and by industry. From the Caribbean, the rhythms of Calypso. From Argentina, beef prepared in the style of the Pampas. And from Spain, flamenco dancing, paintings, and a wine cave. And at the International Plaza, many other nations and foreign organizations will be represented. Nations from around the globe pledged to a theme of common understanding. The central theme of the fair, peace through understanding, will gain in depth and perspective through impressive religious and cultural exhibits and events. The Protestant Pavilion. The Mormon Pavilion. The Christian Science Pavilion. The Billy Graham Pavilion. The Vatican will exhibit Michelangelo's masterpiece, the Pieta his famed sculpture of Mary holding the crucified Christ. Three former presidents are proud to serve as chairman for the fair. Herbert Hoover, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Harry S. Truman. And here on this four and a half acre site is rising the magnificent federal building. Its theme, Challenge to Greatness. Here will be exhibit halls, a theater, and tributes to our American heritage. At the groundbreaking ceremony, our late president, John F. Kennedy, met Robert Moses, president of the fair. We have roamed these United States and literally combed the globe for pavilions and exhibits 
which will reflect the achievements of all men in industry, culture, the arts, and harmless entertainment. We confidently expect more than 70 million visitors to an unforgettable pageant. Then the president. I want the people of the world to visit this fair and to come to the American exhibit, the exhibit of the United States, and see what we've accomplished through a system of freedom. And many of our states will exhibit. New York State will feature the tent of tomorrow. New York City's exhibit, a scale model of the entire New York metropolitan area in astonishing detail. Dick Button's ice travaganza with Olympic skating champions. By Meadow Lake, Hawaiian food specialties. Florida will have a live porpoise show. Missouri's Alan Shepard was first in space. Both New Jersey and New York will celebrate their 300th anniversary. The New England states, the Village Green and Country Store. West Virginia, the land of relaxation. And Maryland will dramatize the Star Spangled Banner. Our own United States of America at the New York World's Fair. This then will be the New York World's Fair. Everywhere construction goes on so rapidly, in fact, that what you see here is already ancient history. It's so close to opening day that tickets are already on sale all over the country. And so plans and preparations race ahead for the opening of the gates to the New York World's Fair. And you'll be one of the 70 million, perhaps 80 million visitors to see this, one of the most spectacular shows of all time. And now, until April 22nd, 1964, so long.